Hey friends, Pirate Mike here. Sure hoping you guys like adventure and treasure hunting. If you do, I sure hope you like my channel. And if you do like my channel, please like and subscribe. Please leave comments and you can win prizes. Things I find on the beach, I'm gonna try to give away. Thanks again. Surprise, surprise, I'm at the beach again. There's a little bit of wind, not a lot of swell. Don't think the conditions are gonna be too good, but uh, just gonna walk around and see if we can find anything with our detector. All right, we have a really high tone. Doesn't sound great. Still reading in the 90s. That's getting a bit of an iron grunt to it. Oh, we, uh, we actually have a penny. We have another uh, another high ton right right next to that one. Water is a little chilly today. Sounds like it's really deep. Kind of getting a little bit of a mid tone. Really deep. I think it's in the scoop. I'll let the ocean do the work. Well, I see absolutely nothing. Oh, not true. It's a uh, zinc penny. Another high tone. Again, uh, the ocean is not completely cooperating. It's not a real crisp sound. It's, it's definitely uh, sounds a little rough. That's actually gotten much cleaner. Now it's uh, reading a 90. Pretty high. And it is a quarter. I can get it out of the scoop. I got another target. Got a lot of iron grunt to it, but again, I'm I'm really kind of digging everything. It's uh you know, that quarter didn't sound too good at the beginning either. This is still sounding very grunty and irony, but there's just a little chirp in the middle of it, so. Until I have a lot more confidence with the 900, I, uh, I'm really kind of forced to dig most things, unless I can really tell it's a iron, you know, big iron object, but most of the time, Now it's gotten really kind of nice high tone, so the iron seems to have gotten out of the, the signal. So doesn't mean it's not iron. This means it doesn't sound like iron. And uh, you're noticing that all the targets seem to be pretty darn deep. It is another zinc penny. Again, that one might even be spendable. So, another signal. Kind of sounds, to be honest with you, zinc penny ish. It does have a little bit of a grunt to it. Now it's getting pretty, pretty high tone. So, could be a dime or a penny of the non zinc variety. Yeah, now it's back up there. It's uh, it's actually in the, in the low 90s. And it's it sounded pretty good. It's, it's lost any and all grunt that it had. Okay, it's in the scoop. And again, let the ocean do, uh, do the work. I figure if the ocean's gonna flog me, 
the entire time I might as well employ it to uh, clean out my scoot. And we have another quarter. So one thing I will say is there's a lot more targets than I thought there would be. So far, obviously nothing real heavy. But I've only been down here about 10 minutes and I think I'm at a total of five, five legitimate targets. So not bad for the uh, duration spent thus far. I didn't film this, it sounded so unbelievably bad and it is a really beat up zinc penny. I got another high-ish tone. It's got a lot of grunting to it, so and it sounds pretty big, so don't have high hopes for it. Really hard sand down there too, which uh, can sometimes be a great thing and other times not so much. Oh, there it is. It is the infamous blob, you're right. Big, ugly, melted piece of aluminum. A signal in the 60s. High 60s, low 70s. Sounds pretty solid and it's not that deep. They got it the scoop. And we have half of a key. It means I don't get the free house. I've got another mid to high 70s. And we got a dime, which means we did a we did complete the cycle. It's kite surfing right in here. Pretty cool. mid 50s all the way up to 70 sounds like a zinc penny but uh, who knows it's in the skew well it's a brass fitting some sort of plumbing fitting uh, I wasn't gonna film this I started digging but I realized you never know, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be foil or some sort of wrapper. It's coming up a four, which is crazy low for this machine. And to my, uh, my experience tells me it's a Taco Bell wrapper. Oh, actually, whew, and I think they're even usable. Stainless steel tweezers. I'm actually kind of happy with that. Oh, no, they're really good ones. I forget the name of the brand, but it's a... Uh, I'll read it in the wrap-up, but these are actually really good tweezers. Uh, way better than a Taco Bell wrapper. And they're uh, stainless, made in Italy. These are like the best tweezers made. Ha! Super happy. All right, I got a 30. Still sounds real grunty, so I don't guarantee it's actually going to be... 30. Normally, again, those are pull tabs, but uh, the one and only gold ring I found. Now it sounds very irony. The irony of it. Yeah, I think I see a nail. I do indeed. Yeah, finding a, a gold ring at 3031 has really screwed up my uh, sense of uh, what to dig and what not to dig. And I got another high tone definitely got a lot of grunt to it but uh, there is a lot of iron as I mentioned in the sand so still pretty grunty but there is a chirp in the middle of it I'm gonna keep digging it I'm inclined to believe this is iron
especially when you start digging this deep, it's usually iron. I think we're gonna call this the last scoop, so. We actually may have gotten it. Oh, and uh, I think it's actually a coin. That is funny. I think it might be a dime. And it is copper penny. Oh, maybe it is a dime actually. Nope, copper penny. We got pelicans and uh, seagulls and a whole bunch of kite borders. This guy's absolutely ripping it up. Look at that. All right, got a mid tone. Kiteboarding right behind me. It's kind of neat. The sail goes, yeah, that goes right over my head. I think it's in the scoop. Yep, yeah, oh, it is. It's a, <laughs> another bullet shell. Fifties, sixties. Now yeah, it's into the seventies. Sounds very much like a coin. of keys that have uh, fused together all right got another high tone coming up high 80s low 90s hoping it's a quarter or really hoping it's a silver ring staying in that high 70s low 80s area it's in the scoop and it's a quarter Believe as the fourth one of the day. Oh, that's an interesting one. See a big iron washer of some sort. It's a 65. Getting really grunty. Still pretty grunty, but does have a little bit of a chirp, high tone. Now it sounds all high tone. Very consistent high tone with almost no grunt. Now it's getting real grunty. take one more stab at this and call it call it iron if it's uh, this deep and not coming out of the hole Ugh. yeah that's a big iron Alex was supposed to show up I'm not sure if he's coming or not all right 60s 70s sounds small enough to be a coin Copper penny. I got a low tone. It's 
so far, most of those today have turned to iron. Except for that great pair of tweezers I found. Right, I think we have it, and I think it's going to be iron. Now it's a pretty solid high tone. Uh, I think what I did is I, think I actually put it on top of a high tone. That's exactly what it is. There's another target down here. Alright, I think this is going to be a quarter. This is going to be iron. Now I see this is part of a. I think this is part of a toy car. You can see it was painted red at one point in time. I think the other one is going to be a quarter. Pretty certain. No, oh, it's a penny. And uh, yeah, it's another copper penny. Got another target coming up in the uh, 60s, 70s. And we have a dime. That means we've actually hit the cycle twice. All right, this thing sounded horrible. I haven't even had a chance to fill in my holes because there's so many little targets around here. And uh, I'm trying to believe that it's another coin another dime so that means we've hit the cycle three times all right let's fill these holes in and see what else is here and we have another target right in the same area so we kind of have a really good little spot right here coming up in the 80s although I've been having pennies end up in the 80s so I'm not really using the numbers to do any kind of uh, predictions. I think it's going to be a fishing weight because I keep seeing a green string in the, in the hole. So I think it's going to, I think it's going to be a pretty good sized fishing weight, which is a great sign because that means you get some heavy stuff out here. I love finding fishing weights. Yes, indeedy. That is exactly what it is. You can see this green string was shown up in the hole. Another target. Another coin. I say it's a copper penny. Nope, it's a dime. I right, just got another nickel out of out of this hole, and uh, that thing is every bit of 14 inches deep. Got another really quiet, just a almost not even audible. <laughs> There's one big stainless steel washer. And another target. Coming up in the mid tones. Doesn't sound great. 23. 23 solid. Now yeah, it sounds pretty darn good. I think it's going to be another nickel. And uh, it is. It's another nickel. Really solid 23. Alright, let's see what else we can find out here. Alright, just got another target out of the hole. 
right next to uh, when we were already in. And I think it might be a quarter. Sure enough. All right, another uh, whisper of a target. Been about five feet of the last one. It's out of the hole. It might be another quarter. It's in the 80s. High 70s. Might be a dime. It is a dime. I got a 54. Actually, it's mid 60s. I'm pretty sure it's another zinc penny. Maybe not. Yeah, I think it is. And it is another possibly spendable zinc penny. 12. Showing that it's relatively deep as well. Not deep. All right, what do we have? Oh shoot! I think we actually have a gold chain. <laughs> I do believe. Well, maybe not. I have to look at it when I get home. That might just be brass or copper. Definitely got a little weight to it, so I'm uh, I'm leaning towards a, a very thin, small gold chain, just based on the way it's uh, it's kind of acting, and uh, it's also its tone was very low. Huh, interesting. On um, 60s, 70s, so it's been bouncing all over the place. We have zinc. A zincin, as they're known. And another target. Coming up in the mid-tones. 23 solid. Yeah, that sounds pretty darn good. I think it's going to be another nickel. And uh, it is. It's another nickel. Really solid 23. Alright, I got another coin out of that hole. Mid-60s. I'm going to suppose it's Probably more of the same. When I say more of the same, I mean more zinc penny. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> shut the front door. It's a small silver ring. Silver for silver ring I've had in a, in a in at least a few days anyway. So, yeah. Some sort of, it looks like a, it's got some turquoise in there as well. All right, this appears to be a high tone. out of the hole I'm gonna say dime I think I see a dime right there yes indeed I got another uh, high 60s Oh, there it is. And I think, oh, I think it might be uh, another dime or actually it's a copper penny. Right, this one uh, is acting like a quarter. And I think we actually see a green quarter. All right, it's another high tone. That's uh, down in the 50 range. Oh, I saw just a little piece of copper. Oh, it's a key. A lot of keys today. In another house. All of these little blue jellyfish. They are everywhere. And uh, I kind of put them in one of my other videos, but I just still think they're so interesting. And they're everywhere right now. 
just keep floating in. I guess it was on the news. But just uh, literally millions upon millions of them. If you look down the beach, it's just as far as the eye can see, there's a whole string of them. All right, out of the hole, mid 50s, most likely. If I have to guess, it's going to be a zinc penny. And I think, oh, you're going to be kidding me. It's another house key. That is absolutely wild. Um, I think that might be my fifth key. All right, this one's in the high 60s, into the 70s. And it is another dime. Time to fill these holes in and keep going. Just got this one out. I'm gonna say it was close to two feet deep. I think it's a it's either a quarter or a dime. It's actually a dime. That is absolutely nuts how deep that was. Heading off the beach. Ah, what a beautiful day. Even though it's a little windy, it's really pretty. The waves have definitely calmed down a bit. Kite surfers are for the most part gone. There's one one down to the south of me. Right, kind of funny I was walking off the beach and did not even hit this with my detector I just found it sticking on the ground but it appears to be a gold I guess a dog's butt I don't know I'm sure it's not solid gold I'm gonna go uh, gold plated plastic but uh, funny nonetheless um, this little dude I don't know if you can see him down in my sock he evidently uh, probably was floating in the ocean and decided he found a safe refuge on my sock. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get him to go fly away. Here we go. A little hitchhiker friend. Well, guys, here's a wrap up. Got a lot of iron and steel off the beach. Didn't film most of this because it was just so many targets out there. So a lot of what's on here you did not see me dig. I just uh, had to uh, get to the point where I could... Uh, edit out a lot of it also there are probably i don't know six or seven pieces of scrap uh, iron or uh, brass from boats did get this large fishing weight also got this large washer which i thought was stainless steel but more uh, closely looking at it i think it's just galvanized it had a real low tone so that's why i thought it was stainless steel i did get all these keys and in there, basically what that means is I got these two sets of fused keys, which means you get the car and the house. So I got a total of two cars, four houses, a um, little bit of some sunglasses. I also got uh, eight quarters. Uh, I got 10 dimes. I got six nickels. I got eight copper pennies. I got 14 uh, zinc pennies and actually the crazy thing is I almost never find spendable zinc pennies but actually nine of those are spendable so kind of a shocker relatively fresh drops because they don't last long in the ocean uh, the better things I got were you guys probably saw this dog's butt plastic dog's butt don't have any idea what uh, what that came from but kind of interesting I did get these tweezers which are really cool they're tweezer man tweezers they're stainless steel made in Italy thought it was going to be a piece of a uh, of foil and i looked them up on the internet they're about 15 bucks brand new so they are really nice tweezers i'm going to clean them up and put them in my uh, in my drawer because i think uh, they're really nice also did get a uh wheat back penny um i'm not sure i got that on film or not i did get this uh silver ring Again, it came up, I think, in the 50s and 60s, so I thought it was a zinc penny, but uh, it was indeed a small silver ring. It's got a little turquoise on it, kind of neat little design. So I also want to talk about some of the things we're giving away. So one of the things I'm giving away is this stainless steel ring that uh, my friend Matt found. I'm going to give this away on May 17th. It'll be a uh, the winner will be included on my uh, video that week. I do have uh, a few people in the comments that have mentioned stainless steel rings, so they're obviously in that uh, drawing. If you guys are interested in winning the stainless steel ring, it does have some tarnish, so it is uh, actual uh, sea treasure or beach treasure. And um, all you got to do is put stainless steel ring in the comments anywhere in any of my videos, and I will uh, 
put you guys in the drawing and whoever wins it i will send it to you asap the other thing that uh, if you go back to one of my first videos in fact i think it is my first video i found this skateboard and um i thought it was just really cool for wall art it's got uh this uh kind of skull motif on it with some paisley uh really kind of a neat looking neat looking skateboard uh it is legitimately uh also sea or beach treasure if you are interested in winning either of these again in the uh, comments stainless steel ring or skateboard or both um, i'm gonna give this one away as i mentioned on may 17th this i'm waiting till i have 100 subscribers and i think i'm at 70 right now so again um, you can go back and watch that on my first video put them in the comments either skateboard or stainless steel ring and when i do the drawing i will ship it out to you directly free of charge as long as it's in the continental u.s otherwise um, you can help me with the uh, shipping we'll get it anywhere else in the world thanks again for watching my videos i really really appreciate it uh, if you didn't mind subscribing, um, also love uh, any comments you guys leave. If you guys do want to win either the skateboard or the stainless steel ring, just say skateboard or stainless steel ring in any of my comments. I appreciate all of your feedback. And um, I do realize the last video that uh, I have a scratch on my lens of my camera. So I'm in the process of uh, looking to either get that repaired or get a new camera. So I truly apologize about that. I also realize there's a lot of wind noise. I did get something that they call a dead cat. I haven't used it yet because we haven't had any more wind. But when we have wind, I'm going to try the dead cat on my videos uh, and see if that helps at all. Um, but again, I really, really appreciate it. And if you didn't mind subscribing and liking and uh, possibly turning on notifications. Thanks again.